Hey guys! So, this evening, because it's my time here, um, I thought I would talk about something super duper important, self-care. And I struggle the worst with self-care. Um, so I, I don't, just because of who I am, I like to be busy, um, I'm an active relaxer, so that's always good. Um, and I have a pretty busy day, and I think if there was a theme song for my day, it would probably be the Rocky doo -doo 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 theme song. Great singing, I know, it's right. It's right. Um, <laughs> essentially, I wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning, I get ready for work, I wake my son up, I make him breakfast, we have some time together, then he's off to school, I'm off to work, I pick him up from school, I finish him work, um, and then we have dinner together. We usually try and make that time specifically for us and we run through any of his homework and all the cute kind of things that he keeps bringing home and he's very innovative and creative and he can make pretty much anything out of a cardboard box um which is phenomenal inspires me but then from probably about half past seven onwards i get back onto the blog and onto the youtube thingy thing like i am now and i kind of have to keep going so for me, I am terrible at self-care. I would rather be working or doing something active than caring for myself. But I realize that I'm not going to be the best functioning person I can be if I'm not caring for myself. Terrible. I know. I really should listen to my own advice. So I did. Um, we, as a bunch of affiliates, got these amazing free cut files from scrapbook.com. And you can, we got them to test and kind of got to do a whole bunch of cool things with them. And one of them was an advent calendar, a pre-cut tree advent calendar. And I was like, damn, sister, I'm not putting chocolate in that damn tree. I do not need to put on any more weight. So no chocolate in my tree or no candy. But what I would do was I would make an advent calendar in my happy planner filled with self-care stuff. So every day I open my little advent calendar and it's a new self-care thing. Which was challenging because I was like, damn, what do I need to put in there? And there's tons of suggestions out there of things you can do that are low cost, low budget, low energy, you know, and I was like, oh, okay, well, let me try. So for all of my little um, advent calendar windows, what I did was I put in a little sticker to represent what each day would be. And interspersed in there, because my language of love is presents, I do like to get myself a lot of presents because I, but I, maybe that's my form of self-care, who knows? Um, anyway, I like to get myself presents. So I've sprinkled a couple of presents in there, but I've also sprinkled some savings in there because I thought that's also a form of self-care is making sure you're ready for a rainy day. So I've got things like, you know, phone-free day, um, more walks outside, a walking lunch, a walking meeting. Um, what else have I got in there? I've got a manicure. Um, which I really, you know what? I, let's be honest. I really need one because I only realized once I started editing all my videos that I have half a finger of nail polish. Unacceptable. I should have sorted that out. Half a finger. Like, it's just not, like, that is ridiculous. Anyway, we'll sort that out tonight. It'll be part of my self-care. Sure. <laughs> anyway, let's get started. And before we do get started, if you haven't already and you want to hang around to see more of my kooky craziness, hit the subscribe button down below. So let's go creating a self-care advent calendar. Alright, using some green cardstock and the cut file from scrapbook.com, I've already cut out my advent calendar. It's pretty straightforward and it's just drop and drag. Let's measure where we're going to put it on our planner and then we're going to paint some textured background to it because I don't want it to be completely bland, I want it to have some colour. I am in love with these teeny tiny little Happy Planner disc stickers. So I'm putting some green and red ones on the page to kind of match my advent calendar feel. 
I'm gonna add some really haphazard foiling around it. Now, you might have seen in previous posts, I've used my foil quill. It's a pen that has a USB attachment and just plugs into the USB attachment and you can foil straight onto almost any medium, including paper. So here I'm just foiling straight onto my Happy Planners page. Absolutely love doing this and really just keeping it as haphazard and spontaneous as possible. All right, let's glue that advent calendar in. It's pretty straightforward from here. We're going to glue it in and then we're gonna position it really nicely on the page. By carefully opening some of the little uh, windows, I'm going to start putting in my self-care ideas. I'm going to use a pretty spontaneously and so that I don't remember which, uh, which window holds or which self-care item. I'm also going to hide them a little bit from you, so I've spe sped this up quite a bit so that you aren't seeing all my sneaky little gift days. I've also added savings, I've also added other things like uh, no phone free days, I've added bubble baths and manicures and a whole bunch of other great stuff. Alright, as we finish off, what use is a calendar without dates? Let's pop on the 24 days of the month leading up to the 24th and the 25th. So very simply, I, again, I'm just using my Happy Planner dated stickers and I'm going to go through and stick that all the way through to day 24. And just like that, we're done. So thank you for joining us today. And I I'm really looking forward to seeing your calendar creations too. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to visit us elsewhere, we are all over Instagram. Come and visit us. We're also on Pinterest, Facebook, and you can hit us up on email as well. Look forward to seeing you next time.